What if the future of space travel is closer than you think? The Dream Chaser is revolutionizing the rocket industry by bringing something familiar to the table. In a world where new launch vehicles are being developed every day, the Dream Chaser is a game changer. But what sets it apart from the rest? Sierra Space's initial Dream Chaser test model has been successfully assembled and is now in the final stages of preparation for its first ever flight. Looking back, the space shuttle was a significant presence in the aerospace industry, completing over 100 missions with crew and cargo. Its unique ability to be reused after landing on a runway was groundbreaking, although it had its flaws, leading to its retirement in 2011. However, the aerospace landscape is about to witness a new era with the introduction of a modern space plane, which is ready to take flight in a few short months. The Dream Chaser program is introducing multiple versions tailored for carrying both astronauts and cargo. These variants boast a more compact size, innovative folding wings, and a range of features designed to surpass previous designs. Dream Chaser was initially unveiled to the public in 2004 by a group called Space Dev. At that time, Sierra Space didn't exist. It was an entirely different entity. After a few years of progress in 2008, Space Dev and the Dream Chaser space plane were acquired by the Sierra Nevada Corporation, which is the parent company of Sierra Space. Since then, we've witnessed various tests and developments as the company diligently worked on assembling their groundbreaking vehicle. However, recently, there has been a significant milestone in the project's decade-long journey. CEO Tom Weiss announced a pivotal moment for both Sierra Space and the aerospace industry. He stated that Tenacity, the first vehicle in the Dream Chaser fleet, has been completed. It will soon be transported to the Neil Armstrong Test Facility. Sierra Space shared this momentous update on Twitter, accompanied by a photo of the entire Sierra Space team with the finished Tenacity in the background. In a closer look provided by the company, specific details of the spacecraft are visible. This includes the vehicle's thrusters at the front and the folded wings necessary to fit within the fairings of the United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. Additionally, thousands of thermal tiles are spread across the spacecraft's body, showcasing meticulous attention to detail. In an official statement, Sierra Space expressed immense pride in unveiling the Dream Chaser space plane. In the coming weeks, the completed tenacity will be transported to NASA's facility in Ohio, for final testing before receiving approval for launch. Interestingly, Tenacity has been to this facility before, where it underwent several checkouts earlier this year. Sierra Space and NASA collaborated on a thermal vacuum demonstration test, a joint effort that proved highly successful. This test, conducted in preparation for integrated Dream Chaser spacecraft environmental tests, validated NASA's in-space propulsion facility's capability to withstand extreme hot and cool temperature conditions under a vacuum. The test also gathered crucial data essential for enhancing the accuracy of models used to predict thermal conditions and vehicle performance. Following the successful thermal vacuum demonstration, a few more tests are scheduled to be conducted later this month. Once these tests are completed and assuming the results meet the standards, Dream Chaser Tenacity will be prepared for shipment to Florida where it will be integrated into the Vulcan rocket. During its maiden launch, Tenacity will ascend into space before attempting to rendezvous and dock with the International Space Station. On board, it will carry vital cargo and remain attached to the station for several months. After this mission phase, Tenacity will separate from the station and endeavor to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. If this re-entry proves successful, the spacecraft will undertake a runway landing marking the completion of its first mission. In January 2016, NASA made a significant announcement, revealing that Dream Chaser had secured one of the CRS-2 contracts. As part of this agreement, NASA committed to procuring a minimum of six resupply missions to the International Space Station using the Dream Chaser spacecraft. The initial mission serves as a demonstration, focusing on showcasing the vehicle's capabilities and operations. If the demo proves successful, there are plans for an increase in Dream Chaser flights, aligning with the completion of NASA's contracted missions. Regarding the specific launch date for this inaugural flight, there are still uncertainties. Initially, the company had aimed for a launch in December, but several factors have affected the timeline. The Dream Chaser will be launched atop ULA's Vulcan rocket, which has encountered delays. The first Vulcan launch without Dream Chaser is slated for Christmas Eve, December 24, 2023 followed by a second launch for the rocket which will include the Tenacity. 
even if the first Vulcan flight proceeds flawlessly. The second launch is not expected until January or February 2024 at the earliest. This timeline aligns with the necessary preparations and final testing to be conducted jointly by Sierra Space and NASA. The most recent space plane launch occurred in 2011, marking the final mission of the Space Shuttle era. However, the upcoming launch of Tenacity signifies a new chapter in spaceflight. Unlike the traditional Space Shuttle, Tenacity, part of the Dream Chaser space plane series, is a versatile multi-mission vehicle designed to cater to a range of low Earth orbit requirements. What sets Tenacity apart is its adaptability. It can be tailored to various needs, whether for domestic or international clients. The customization extends to factors such as vehicle configuration, launch site, destination, landing site and duration, among other variables. Sierra Space describes the craft as a spiritual successor to the space shuttle, despite being markedly different. Tenacity measures 30 feet, approximately 9 meters in length, making it only a quarter of the total length of the space shuttle orbiters. Its pressurized volume amounts to 33 cubic meters, encompassing both the space plane and the cargo module. This design not only enhances sustainability and maneuverability, but also facilitates gentle 1.5G runway landings, making it ideal for transporting delicate cargo. Tenacity's adaptability extends to its compatibility with a wide array of launch vehicles. It will be launched in a stowed configuration inside a 5-meter payload fairing. This configuration offers increased flexibility by reducing ascent loads on the vehicle and safeguarding it from potential debris during the launch process. In 2017, Sierra Space conducted a significant test flight involving the Dream Chaser hardware. During this autonomously conducted atmospheric flight over the California desert, the Dream Chaser test vehicle showcased its unique lifting body design. The vehicle autonomously deployed its landing gear, touching down gracefully on the runway at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. This successful test highlighted the space plane's ability to maneuver and land autonomously. For in-space maneuvering, Tenacity will rely on internally developed thrusters equipped with three different thrust modes. Additionally, Sierra Space plans to attach a large module named Shooting Star to the back of the Dream Chaser vehicle. The Shooting Star cargo module is a versatile 15-foot transport and cargo vehicle designed to be attached to the Dream Chaser space plane. With the assistance of Shooting Star, Dream Chaser can deliver up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to low-orbit destinations. When it comes to the heat shield, the Dream Chaser space plane is equipped with thousands of unique individual tiles. These tiles, attached to different parts of the spacecraft, play a crucial role in managing heat during re-entry. The tiles come in varying designs, sizes, shapes, thicknesses, and densities. Unlike the Space Shuttle, which used tens of thousands of tiles, Sierra Space engineers have made significant advancements. They have updated the thermal protection system tiles, incorporating innovation, better technology, and lessons learned from past experiences. Modern manufacturing techniques have been employed to enhance tile strength and reduce costs. One notable difference lies in the size of the tiles. Dream Chaser tiles are about 10 inches by 10 inches, larger than the 6 inch by 6 inch tiles used on the shuttle. Moreover, these tiles are not only stronger, but also lighter in weight. Importantly, they meet all requirements concerning micrometeoroid orbital debris, ensuring safe entry, descent, and runway landings for both crewed and cargo missions. The idea of a space plane has been the subject of much skepticism in the rocket industry mainly due to the failure of the space shuttle program. However, Sierra Space aims to reinvent the concept and prove that the Dream Chaser space plane is a better option than conventional rockets. If you had a chance to go to space, would you prefer a space plane or a tried-and-tested rocket launch to take you into the stars? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.